control. Guys, I just got home from the gym and I have to also look, I just can't with how awful I look right now. It's okay, clear skin, we're thriving. Um, I just have to show you this drink um, and it's basically got caffeine in it and BCAAs and I drink it whilst I work out, still got a bit in it because I did a very short workout today, 45 minutes because I parked on a single yellow that would expire after 45 minutes and I couldn't be bothered to go out, repark, blah, blah, blah. So long story short, I only worked out for 45 minutes which you guys saw my full workout. Usually I drink this and I work out for about an hour and a half in the evenings, or if it's a busy day, an hour. Um, but this gives me like energy whilst I work out. So I absolutely love this. Just thought I'd share it with you guys. Also, the other thing I want to show you, I already showed you guys, if you follow me on Instagram, Persian Bunny, I showed you my workout belt, the Sweet Sweat. I'm going to get my mum to hold the camera now whilst I take it off. Um, usually, it like literally drips down with sweat when I, when I take it off. So, it's basically a waist trainer and I use a workout enhancer gel. I'll show you guys, actually. So, I use this um, workout enhancer gel stick thing. So, that's what I use and I put that all over my like waist area and then I wear the belt on top and then when I take off the belt after my workout I'm literally usually like dripping in sweat so I love it and the other day so like about four or five days after I posted it Kylie Jenner posted hers on her story wow well, she uses it too so must be good because I feel like they always use like the most pictured things and for her it wasn't an ad like it was like genuine recommendation same as me not that like ads aren't genuine recommendations but I feel like there are some things where it's like for example clothes and jewelry you can see for yourself if you like it or not through an ad but like things like waist trainers and stuff I feel like you're not as sure especially with big big influencers if it's an ad or not do you know what I mean I don't know if that makes sense but anyway that being said I really really like this one um so I'm gonna get my mum to hold the camera actually so I can show you guys mum so I don't know if my sweat's all dried off by now or not, um, but we shall see when I take this off. Ew. <laughs> so it literally has all of your sweat underneath and um, ew. As for the belt, like you need to like wipe it down afterwards. Um, so yeah, that's my workout done. Sorry if that was too much for you guys. I should probably do like warnings, but oh well. Look how oily and like sweaty that is. I actually can't deal a <laughs> lot. Um, but I'm gonna go shower now and I will pick up the camera thereafter. So I am changed and I've got these cute like little military boots on. I got them last year from Pretty Little Thing wearing black leggings and this crop top is Sina's from I Saw It First and this coat is from... There is a very long pause. This coat is from Topshop, that's it. I am gonna eat lunch now. I haven't had breakfast. I'm very hungry. I've been very very busy with work, meetings, booking clients in for the new clinic. If you guys haven't heard, Sol and I have launched an aesthetics clinic, Dr. S Aesthetics on Instagram. We are based at number 1A Harley Street. We are very, very excited um, about this. It's such an achievement for us and we've even booked out our first week of December of clinic appointments. So we're very, very happy. We offer a range of treatments at the clinic. So we have anti-wrinkle treatments, we have dermal fillers for uh, correction of smile lines, uh, lip enhancement, cheek enhancement, uh, jaw enhancement, jaw slimming. We do uh, treatments for uh, people who grind their teeth as well. We do PRP treatment, which is one of my favorites, which is basically where we um, take the patient's blood, we spin it in a centrifuge, and then we uh, re-inject the platelets back into the patient's skin, and it helps to rebuild collagen in their skin. It's actually so helpful for so many different things. Doctors use it to treat acne, they use it to treat hair loss, so we can re-inject it back into the hair, and it can help with hair growth. We use it um, for under eyes. If you have dark under eyes, we can use it um, in areas of the skin with scarring. So we do so many treatments. If you guys wanna check it out, 
now our Instagram is Dr. S Aesthetic and for the month of December we have 20% off um, all of our treatments booked in so make sure you book fast because it seems to be booking up quite fast which we're really really happy about we're so happy to have the support of you guys and everyone who's booking in so thank you so much in advance and we can't wait to vlog this journey and bring you guys along and for you guys to see the clinic and everything so yes anyway I'm gonna show you guys what I'm about Anyway, let me show you guys what I'm about to eat. So this is a cinnamon and raisin bagel with Philadelphia cream cheese. I think it's on the underside, there we go. And some scrambled, this isn't scrambled, this is fried egg. Um, so I'm just gonna eat this now and then my dad and I are popping out, so I will catch up with you guys then. Dad, say hi. Hello. So we, we are off out together. We are going on a mission, let me switch this off. We are going on a mission together. And the only reason my dad is coming, let's be real, is because he wants Starbucks, so. No, <laughs> just <a> Starbucks. <laughs> what else do you want? Nothing, actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I'm joking. So we are going out together now um, and come along with us. <laughs> the weather is so awful. Nah. Yeah, and what time is it? It's, it's 3.45 and it's dark outside. Yeah. So, thank and morning is getting the sun yeah. shining. Today wasn't sun, but it's still... Yesterday was sunny, but some days like the sun doesn't come out and it just feels like it's basically dark all day. So, it's really rubbish. We're going home now. We just went to run some errands together. And now we are going home. I have to come out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So... I am home, I've changed into a pyjama dress. I am about to eat some lasagna. My mum made lasagna for her YouTube yesterday and she made an extra dish for me and look how much I've eaten from it already. Literally, I've eaten so much of it. I love this lasagna. If you guys want to see the recipe, it's on the Mise Gerdama channel. But mum, are you gonna say hi to this vlog? Everybody wants to see you and say hello. Hi, hi everybody. Mom, what are you doing now? I'm cooking. I'm cooking. Oh, I thought you were going to say what you were cooking. That's why I was quiet. I was like, are you going to tell us what you're cooking? Yes. Guess what? The influence is real because Mom Anjun wants some lasagna. She wouldn't try it on the day we made it, but yeah. now she wants to try some. Sorry, you were saying... Yes. What are you making? I'm making um, adas polo bagusht. That's adas for polo dinner. Adas polo bagusht I'm very much looking forward to this, yes. so that will be our dinner. Yes. Yay, merci ma'am. Yes. Merci. London to um, come and do some shopping but there is queues everywhere like I don't know if you guys can see like this is the queue for H&M can you guys see look at that that's mental um, so I don't know if I'm bothered to queue for anything um, if not I'll just go back to my car and drive home tonight I think I'm going for dinner with some of my friends which I'm so excited about, but it just feels very like Christmassy. Feels very Christmassy, and I'm like so in like the holiday spirit now, which um, makes me really excited. And yeah, it's also very chilly right now in London, guys. It is about two degrees Celsius or three degrees Celsius. So I'm very grateful to be like in a warm jacket and a polar neck um, because when you're indoors, you don't feel it, but as soon as you come out, your hands are frozen and yeah by the way guys i really need gift ideas for my family this year because i'm not really sure what to get anyone um and it's like my first year working so i want to get like quite good gifts for my family like nice gifts and thoughtful gifts so um yeah let me know what you think i should get in the description if you guys can think of anything for each of my family members it would be much appreciated 
Look at that queue. Look at that queue for John Lewis. Mental. Wow. Guys, look at the queue for Selfridges. I'm not even joking. It goes all the way down there. Um, I'm not going in that queue. No, there are better ways to shop than to stand in a 10 hour queue for Selfridges, AKA online or come on a weekday. So yeah, I'm not joining that. It's actually mental look. I feel like, you know when you see like a celebrity meet and greet? That's literally what I feel like is going on. Like Kim Kardashian is in the building. But she's not. So I just met Sadaf in the queue for Selfridges. Say hi. hi. She's so beautiful. Thank you so um, much. And she's braving the queue in the cold. <laughs> so It's freezing. It's, it's actually so, freezing. So freezing. I'm proud of you. You're dedicated to Thank shop. Thank you so much. I love your videos so <laughs> Thank much. Thank you. Honestly. And uh, thanks for saying hi to me, by the way. It means a lot when you say hi. <laughs> I honestly saw you and I was like, wait, that's Sebi. I have to say hi to her. Yeah, and you're very, very lovely. So thank you. Guys, I'm sorry I haven't been able to vlog as much recently and and there has been such a delay in between my previous video and this one. And I'm sorry I'm apologizing in the middle of the video as you in the middle of the video as you can tell this was obviously meant to go up sooner. But I've just started my new job. I took my camera in to show you guys my new job and I'm not even joking with you. My phone battery at the end of the day was on 87% or something mad. Um because I only picked it up to use it as a directory. <laughs> Not even at lunchtime did I have a moment to look at it. And let's just say the new job is intense. Anyway, Sana and I are going Christmas shopping. This cute little jumper is from H&M. I got it from my mom, but obviously I've borrowed it. And I'm gonna change my lipstick to red because I have a red handbag and I wanna take a really cute Christmassy Instagram pic and do some shopping with Sina. So, Sina and I are in Selfridges. And we have a special guest. We have a little guest. Hello! <laughs> um, we've come to do some Christmas shopping. Oh my god, my mask is falling down and I do not have... My soul's birthday. I don't have three hands to move my mask. For Christmas. Oh my god. I definitely don't want you here. <laughs> I'm trying to like move my mask up without using my hands. Let me hold you. No, it's alright. So, so we have to do Christmas shopping. We have to do... Personal shopping. And I need to buy Sol's birthday present, which I still haven't seen yet. Okay, we'll see you guys in a sec. Good morning, guys. I can't move my face until I put cream on it because I have eczema. This, by the way, I always get someone to get me this from Sephora. Or if I go somewhere myself that has a Sephora, I buy it. So I've literally got stockpiles of it. Here's another one. And it is this cream. Let me show you. This is the cream that I'm using now on my face. It is so good. It's a Sephora cream. It's quite similar to the Kiehl's one. But um, it's got a bit of fragrance in it, which usually my skin can't handle. Um, but with this cream, it can. So it reminds me of, in terms of like texture and stuff, if you guys have tried the, tried the Kiehl's Ultra Cream, it reminds me of that. So um, yeah, it's really nice. I like it. It's like literally in a similar price range ballpark. It's like £18 and the Kiehl's one's like £25. So I guess it is slightly cheaper, but like same quantity and stuff. But it's good to like, I think, switch between them if you can so anyway it is 7 30 in the morning i'm getting ready now for work and i kind of told you guys briefly yesterday my camera died in selfridges so i will show you guys what i bought when i come back from work um but i did a huge shopping like spree in Sarah. so basically my plan for work is to get in a bit earlier um and prep my notes i start at 9 a.m and you can prep your notes as you go along, but I just like to be slightly a bit more organized. I don't like the idea of prepping each, like between like me and another doctor. So like we take it in turns. Okay, this doesn't make sense. Let me try and explain it to you. So like when you do a ward round, um, the, doc the consultant comes and you go and see every single patient in your ward, right? So 
um, let's say there's 15 beds. So the first junior uh, will prep like bed one and the second junior will prep bed two, if there's two of you. Sometimes there's just one of you, sometimes there's three of you. So I prep bed one, second junior preps bed two, then the consultant comes along and then me and consultant go and see bed one whilst, whilst the junior is prepping bed two. Then we come back, consultant goes and sees bed two with the second junior whilst I'm prepping, prepping bed three. And then the consultant comes back, we go see bed three and then junior will prep bed four, you know? So like that and you go around. But I just feel like if I get in a bit earlier and I just start prepping the notes a bit earlier, then it just makes the all round a lot more fluid than, you know, rushed if that makes sense so yeah that is my plan and um it's only like day two on this job and it's a war job i work in aau which is the acute admissions unit and it's for um patients who are really quite sick they've come in either from a and e or direct like gp referrals and we also have a suspected covid bay so yes it is very intense and I like it. I think it's good. But today my shift is from 9 a.m. till 9 p.m. and it's uh, gonna be like this. So today is Wednesday, so for Thursday, not Friday, I'm off, and then Saturday and Sunday I'm also working 9 till 9. So yeah, guys, wish me luck. Also, my bed looks so weird. The bedding looks like it's gonna fall off, but we move. Um, so long as I get out of the house on time to make myself a coffee before I leave, I'm fine with that. Also, I have the cutest new clothes to show you from Zara. Um, so guys, bear with me because I want to show you this stuff before the vlog comes up. Like, I don't want to upload the vlog and not show you what I got. So, I'm going to try and show you tonight when I come home from work and then edit it and upload it for Thursday. If that doesn't happen guys then you clearly know that your gal was very tired to be fair though by the way guys it's not normal to work like nine to nine four days of a week um it's usually nine till five um uh, but i've got like my evening shift and like long day shift all in like the same week which obviously does happen and it just so happens for me that it's in my first week uh but i think like if any of you guys are ever in like a stressful situation for example me doing my first ever like long day shift where there's less doctors in the evening and stuff i think you just have to tell yourself like i'm prepared for this uh this is what i've trained for and um you have loads of support and backup so you know don't be afraid to like ask for help and um you can always ask like your friends and stuff like that so yeah that is my mentality and you know you wouldn't have the position if you weren't qualified enough to do it so just remind yourself that as well um i don't know how many of you people can relate to what i just said but yeah okay guys i'm gonna do my makeup and see you guys in a bit so this is my outfit let me put you guys down and i will show you um the top is zara the cardigan is zara i got it yesterday the top is like this like long bodysuit thing and the cardigan just to keep me warm and then i have to like roll my sleeves up all the way on wards and these are both stretchy so they can go all the way up which i'm happy about and then this is my very very old literally sixth form skirt and i'm wearing it with tights because it's freezing in london and this is my makeup so i am gonna go to work now guys i'm not gonna bring you guys along because i literally don't have a second to film but i'm gonna try and like figure out when i would be able to film so that i can film and vlog at work for you guys so i will see you when i'm back to show you everything else that i got from zara because there is a lot so i'll show you yep loads to show guys look at this the christmas decorations are well underway in my house we've had to like make some adjustments what is this oh i think this is for like decoration like they're like fake like uh tree leaves and stuff to put around but this tree we always get like fresh christmas trees and they are so pretty 
and I know some people don't like it, but we like it, so. Um, and then we have our stockings, we have some Yankee candles. This is, oh no, the Yankee candles were holding up the stocking, oops. Oh, creamy vanilla. Uh, this one, yeah, sorry. This one is in cherry vanilla, and then this one is in soft cotton. Shit, guys, I dropped the stocking into water, which is like part of my mum's zen thing. I'm just gonna leave that there to dry because, oops. Yeah, this is like my mum's like zen thing for feng shuiing the house and I accidentally dropped that in there, but oh well. Um, and then, how cute guys, this is my degree. We Sol got me that frame. And we've put it up here as well. I need to get Sol a frame for her degree and put it on this side and then Sinus can go in the middle. So, yeah, Christmas is well on the way. Santa Claus comes down. I'm happy to hear that I'm not working Christmas, I'm working Christmas Eve, but I'm not working Christmas Day, and I'm not working Boxing Day. I'm also not working New Year's Eve, but I am working New Year's Day. But it's okay, when you do what you love, you don't mind working. It is Friday morning, I, I said on Wednesday when I was filming that I'm gonna upload this on Thursday. So let me just update you guys a bit on my new job. By the way, this is Sol, my sister. If Hello you guys, guys. Haven't watched my previous vlogs ever. Welcome. Um, we're in the middle of a vlog. I don't know why I'm talking like it's the start of a vlog. But I've been working shifts from 9 a.m. till what should be 9 p.m. But by the time you do handover, you walk to the car park. It's <laughs> half 10. <laughs> It's about, yeah, quarter to ten, which I actually don't mind. One thing I'm going to say is I'm currently working in AAU, which is the Acute Admissions Unit, and this job is so fast-paced and, like, super rewarding, and I actually love it. Like, I think it's so much more me. I loved psychiatry, but psychiatry just isn't where, like, my... Your mind's out. Yeah, where my mind's out. Like, as in, I think mental health is so important. I talk about it all the time. Yeah, definitely. But in terms of, like, career-wise and what I can picture myself doing, um, it's more in the wards and in hospitals. So you I... like that. Yeah, I really, really like that. Sol works as a max fax SHO, so she works in hospitals. Well, we don't work in the same hospital. We don't. Um, unfortunately, because if we did, like, uh, there's, um... I wish we did! I know, there's a girl I work with, there's a girl I work with. Um, Guys, I'm going to eat, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay, it's like a mukbang, but on your side. <laughs> there's a girl I work, worked with yesterday, and she was telling me, like, we were just talking about each other, and she's an F2, and she was like, yeah, my twin also, like, works here. And I was what? like, I know, how cool! <laughs> how cool is I'm that? I'm jealous. Yeah, so, I was just like, that is so cool. But anyway, I'm having a coffee now and I'm going to upload this video today um, because it's my day off. So yeah, my schedule was a bit, I was working Monday 9 to 5, Tuesday I was off, Wednesday and Thursday 9 till 9, Friday, did I say that the right days? Wednesday and Thursday 9 to 9. Friday is just today I'm off and Saturday and Sunday 9 to 9 so this is coming your way guys and I also want to try and film um, more in hospital for you guys which is why my new iPhone will be handy I'm just gonna open up some stuff basically I got some packages and I wanted to show us all so I thought I'd show you guys too so the first one is my new iPhone oh you should have done an iPhone unboxing can you guess the colour? I'm doing an iPhone unboxing <laughs> in Farsi. How much am I? Can you guess the color? Black. Yes. Well done. Really? Yeah. They sell out so quickly. How did you get it? I know. They told me I'd have to wait at least two weeks, but to be honest, I got it after a week. I'm with EE, by the way, guys. So if you guys want to know, I pay sixty-nine pounds a month. I got the phone for free. It's one hundred twenty-eight gig, or one hundred twenty whatever gig iPhone twelve Pro Max. Um, and I get free Apple Music with it. I can change my upgrade my phone for free in a year's time. I'm with E, and I've ordered two phones so far. <laughs> yeah, but your delivery man keeps stealing it, which is a bit yeah, awkward. Yeah, how bad is that? Um, the next thing I got sent, um, this is a pair of sunglasses, which I'm so excited to unbox and show you. Um, yeah, they sent me this for a collaboration on Instagram, but basically their website is so good, so I thought I'd just mention it whilst I'm here anyway. 
Hey, me from the future. Just realised I completely forgot to mention the name of the website, which is so stupid of me. It is smartbyglasses.co.uk, and you can get an extra 10% off their huge sale going on right now with the code Persian Bunny 10. Um, so they have a discount code Persian Bunny 10, I believe. The discount code will be across the screen. You can use on the website, and the link to the website will be in the description box. But they have a lot of sunglasses, and you can virtually try it on on the website. Oh wow. How cool. And um, a lot of their prices are like discounted against like if you were to buy it from the actual website or from like other sunglass stores. But like, this is the case for it. How cute is that? Yeah. Mm. I just pulled out the sunglasses from inside. Hold on. And these are the sunglasses. I love these. How beautiful. I love these. Let me try them on. Do you like it? I love it. Oh wow. It's beautiful. I think this is so cute and it's just such a classic pair of glasses. So you can get these already discounted on the website but with an extra 10% off with Persian Bunny 10. So I thought I'd mention it here. I'm gonna go check it out. It's so nice, honestly. It will be linked down below. I'll write it across the screen now as well for you guys. Um, and then Masha Nova sent me a huge package, sent me a huge package again for an Instagram collab. But I love watching people unpack packages, so you guys can watch too. So loves watching me. <laughs> okay. So loves watching. I like watching what I could take. Yeah. That's why I like it. Like, ooh, that would look oh nice my God, on me. Okay. So the first one is called a little dramatic mini dress. So this. Oh wow! Is this is the such dress. a Christmas dress. How pretty is it? It's like, what's it called? Like very romantic 50s vibes which i love so it's got like this fur on the top i love that you thought that's what it looks like i thought it looked like a naughty mrs claus of <laughs> duty <laughs> it's like suede black material and i think that's so cute so i shall be wearing this on the gram next up is the skipper beat tie dye hoodie and jogger set what i love about fashion over is a lot of their stuff actually just come in a set so you don't have to buy the top and bottom separately and then like they don't have one of them in stock or in your size. It's so annoying. So yeah, they sell it as a set. So this is the hoodie. So how long does it take to get delivered? So mine came in about a week. That's not bad. Mm -hmm. So this is the hoodie and this is the jogging bottoms and then the bottoms are like cuffed at the bottom as well. But they're actually really soft and just like nice material, nice colour. I would wear this and then like a cute little bag on top and go shopping with like white trainers. I think it looks super cute. So this is the Knits Not Over Sweater Set. So Knits like beautiful fabrics. Um, and again, this one comes in a pair together. These are the trousers. And the material's like this really like ribbed cool material. And the top is like a polo neck ribbed top, really pretty. But then look at the back. Ooh. So the back has like got this like cut out detail um, and it ties. And I just think that's so nice on. Next up is the McKenna pleated mini skirt. And this one I probably need to just iron it out a bit but it's like a pleated like schoolgirl kind of skirt but I love like this line like it's, it's called an A-line right yeah, I love okay. A-line skirts what I would think. you wear it with I would wear this literally in this season I'd wear it with black like quite um see-through black um tights and black booties and any jumper even like the jumper from this from this set that we just showed you would look nice with it don't you think any any top goes with black skirt, black tights, black boots. You can literally mix and match. Um, I'd wear it with clear boots or knee length socks. Yeah, Ooh. knee length black socks. I really play on the schoolgirl look. Next up is the I'm always savage top. This is like proper, like sexy crop top vibes. So look at this. So it looks like a normal top, but Sol, put your hand through it. 
Oh, yeah. So like the whole middle bit is cut out, but like it's just a little bit of like cleavage coming through. How is that a little bit of cleavage? Yeah, because you can tighten it as much as you want. Yeah, you can tighten it as much as you want, but I just think that's so hot. And you just wear this with like, I would wear this with black tight flare jeans and black boots. Sorry, I just like looking You're at my You're distracting everyone. <laughs> How would you wear it? Um, Did you hear how I said I'd No, work? I was just sorry, I was <laughs> concentrating on my own fingers peeking through. I, I said I'd wear it with black um, flare jeans and like proper tight ones at the waist. Oh yeah. By the way guys, my face has gone so red and spotty thanks to the masks, which is the other difference between this job and my last job is obviously constantly going into COVID wards and there's... The FFP3 mask. You have to wear visors. Mm -hmm. I don't mind the visors. Yeah, you, you can get like steam proof goggles, which a lot of people are getting from like Amazon. I've got my own glasses. The okay. visors are better. This is the Pretty in Power jumpsuit. And this is like a high neck jumpsuit. And the shoulders are it's like so this. soft. Yeah. Um, and all the way down, it's like oh ruched. wow, yeah. The legs are like ruched all the way down. It looks so weird on camera. Okay, let me show you. So, like, it's a jump. Does this look too long for me? I, I think, think the once bottom, you wear it, you can bring yeah, it up. The bottom, because it's ruched, can like sit on top of your trousers. So, I feel like sorry, it sits on top of your shoes. So, I feel like it'll look okay. Um, but we'll have to see what that looks like on. Ah. Uh, it's very Christmassy. Yeah, that's exactly why I got this. This is the Sin City embellished skirt set. So, I wonder if it's long. It's actually a two piece set. So, this is the top. Oh, wow, and it comes with lining underneath it, which I really appreciate. Very nice. Yeah. It's got lining underneath it and it's like completely bedazzled and beautiful. And then this is the matching skirt for it. This is the matching skirt for it and it's like a mini skirt. And I love bold skirts. Like I would wear this without even the matching top. Like on its own with like a white top or something. I think it would look so nice and white boots. It's got lining. It? Yeah, it's very like thick material and like stretchy, good quality. Really well Beautiful. made. I like the diamantes as well. Yeah, really well made. Then I got a pair of Fashion Over jeans. Last time I collabed with them, I got a pair of black jeans, skinny jeans, and I live in them. They are amazing. So I was like, I need another pair of jeans. So these are the light, these are the Margot High Rise skinny jeans in light blue wash. Um, and I get them in a size three, and I'm about a UK eight. Yeah, UK 8, 6 to 8. I'm on the smaller 8 side. Sorry if we've moved a little. <laughs> Literally. Still moving. <laughs> um, so, yeah, these jeans are in a size 3 American. And I'm like a size 8, but like on the 6 side of 8. If that makes sense. I'm like a 7. <laughs> mm. um, but they are skinny. 6 and a half. They are skinny, super tight, very nice fit. And they are just simple blue jeans. Like, I just wanted a nice pair of simple blue classic jeans high rise high waisted and they look like they're really stretchy guys. very stretchy that's why stretchy I like and tight if that makes sense so i i'm assuming they hold you quite well mm -hmm. yeah. so they must be quite flattering and then lastly i got this burst of fire dragon tube top oh my god seti i swear i think i had this in the 90s did you yeah, this was really in in the 90s. I just thought, so like, like very this. Spice Girls. Yeah, and this with like even what I'm wearing now or like black joggers, whatever. Yeah. Would look so cute. So I really like that. It's like ripped and like the material is very thick, by the way. It's not see through at all. It's like double lined. Yeah, it's very really nice. nice. Is that it? No, I have some Zara stuff I have to go and bring. <laughs> And then lastly, I'm going to show you guys what I got from Zara. I can't show you the stuff that I wore two days ago because it's in the wash because of COVID because I wore on the ward. First up, I got these jeans and it says premium 80s lot 1017 in Montauk blue. That's the tag. That's a it. big name for a jean. <laughs> 
but it is this light wash blue jean it's like a size stretchy well. yeah the fit's quite like skinny i got it in a size 10 because they didn't have an 8 but it looks like it will be like a type of jean that will look nice even if it fits a bit loose i think it will be loose on you so yeah but i think it'll look nice still um and it was 29.99 and i just think this with like any of the knitwear that i'm about to show you will look really good um i like 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 wash jeans and then autumn wintery kind of color on top so like brown i have like chocolate color clothes like chocolate bodysuits this and that so i think it'll look really nice um i think i've so only for got example, one white wash jean and it's one that i took from you <laughs> so i could even wear it with this top so this top is in a size s and I love the cut of this top. I just think it's so flattering. It's like, what is this neckline called? It's not square. But it, it is a square-ish. Square. And then it's got a corset. It's like where square neck meets corset neck. I got this in a size small for $25.99. And it's like this ribbed, again, thick material. Perfect for the freezing cold winter London is experiencing. Quite thick as well. That's what I'm saying. It's perfect oh. for the freezing cold winter that London is experiencing right now. And then the last two items I have to show from Zara are actually part of a set. So it's this top I got in a small for fifteen ninety nine. Oh my God, I'm so good. This is my idea of hell. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, I can't even. I touch thought you were gonna say heaven. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's like this. Gr <laughs> oh, it's like this green material knitted corset. You know the itchy material. It doesn't feel that itchy. I'm not even going to risk touching it. The cardigans are size small for $25.99. You don't have to buy them together, but I feel like it would look cute together. So It looks really nice. I'm sure it looks so nice on. So, like, let's say you, like, open up the buttons and you wore the corset underneath. I'm scared to ask Sol because she seems really cringed out. But with this open and that on top, I think it will look so nice together. So that's why I got that. I really envy people who can wear materials like that. Really? And it, yeah, I wish I could. So, wait, Sep, we're not going to tell them more about our amazing clinic. Oh, yes. Okay, so, wait, should we do our own little private video, guys, of just talking about clinic? I think we should. Sol and I are going to do a video all about our aesthetics clinic, but... In the meantime, don't forget to follow at Dr. S Aesthetics. We have a lot of useful information on there about treatments, about what we have to offer, about us videos of us carrying out the treatments on our wonderful clients who have shared their experience. And feel free to DM us um, and ask us any questions that you have on the Dr. S Aesthetics page. And yeah, we will film a video for you guys on that. Yes. How keen do we look right now? Like, welcome. <laughs> Anyway, I think you should give me some Botox to freeze and stop that. I think it's the frown. So you don't really need anything here because That's you don't. That's because I never frown. Yeah, because you don't frown. Yeah, smile. Maybe a little bit here. Yeah, I think. Maybe a little bit here. <laughs> anyway, we're getting sidetracked again. So, um,. I'm going to end this video here, but don't forget to check out Sol's channel. It is Dr. Sol. She does a lot of Farsi vlogs. She has uh, other vlogs that are in English too. Vani, Bacha, Irani. Bacha, Ben, Kalanama. Kalanash, Khalil, Allah. Don't forget to check out my socials that are always linked down below. My Instagram is Persian Bunny. Uh, my Snapchat is Sefi Samoy. And Sol's Instagram is Dr. Sol Sam. We love you guys so much and I will see you in my next vlog and hopefully I will show you more work stuff in that vlog too. <laughs>